Greetings YouTube and welcome back to chapter 7 of my playthrough of Land of the... Land of the Night? Yes, Land of the Night. Liss! He's still alive. You'd think the villains would, you know, kill off another one. He describes how he's gradually rising out of a deep coma. And when he opens his eyes... This is a cell. Good job, genius. So that's when he remembers everything that happened up to this point. That's right. Grand Noah, Queen Grand Noah, was brainwashed by Musette. And Tasso was manipulated by her and abducted. Furthermore, Lest himself was raped several times by Tassa after she changed into a succubus. For such a thing to happen, I was supposed to deliver Tassa to Nobisa. And still. So now Tassa's in the hands of the bad guys, Musette specifically. They're taking advantage of her powers to do something. But still, we got to put a stop to it. Starting by getting out of this cell. This is drinking water, huh? It doesn't look like there's anything in the, bo in the barrel that will be usable. But underneath the barrel, there are several scraps of paper hidden away. This is a diary? You know, some month, some day. I am the accomplished prison breaker, White Stone. The time I've spent here in imprisoned here is over one month. White stone might be a reference to a white bird. Or rather, Shiratori. A famous prison breaker from the Japanese 1930s and 1940s, was it? Anyway, white stone. Using a spoon, little by little, I've dug a hole in the wall. The other side of the wall is a storage room. I'm certain about it. Another month, another day. It seems like the Queen has lost her senses. The number of prisoners here has greatly increased, and there are a lot of them that are innocent. But as the number of prisoners increased, the watch has gotten a bit slop has gotten sloppy. Their checks of the prison have gotten loose and to the point where I can even leave these memos behind. Another month, another day. Well it uses the same symbol for both month and day, so maybe he's making three entries on one day. Anyway, he's saying. Just one more push, and the walls are going to collapse. But I, the accomplished prison breaker, have thought of another method. I'm going to dislocate my joints and make my way through the vents. Nobody could do such a reckless technique but myself, but the safety of it is extremely high. The hole in the wall that I'd about completed, I'll leave as, I, as it is. As the guards are now, they aren't going to notice anyway. So then, you who read this, the next occupant of this cell, 
you can use the hole in the wall. In the wall there's a hole. Looking about it doesn't appear to be so. I better check closely. I should find it. Doesn't take long, does it? So there's dirt covering the wall here. But looking closely, it's not covering the wall, it's filling the wall. A portion of it anyway. There is a hole that it seems like a person could pass through. This must be the hole dug by that accomplished prison breaker or whatever. If I use this, he pulls out the dirt and the hole is open to see. It's deeper than he thought and it should be about to into the next room. With this much left, I can force it down by... I can force it down. Yeah. So he sticks his legs into the hole and starts kicking out the wall after several kicks. The remainder falls out. All right, we're connected. With this, the tunnel into the next room is opened up. Now I've got to thank this accomplished prison breaker or whatever. He said this was a storage room. Maybe if I'm lucky, here there will be. It's here, my stuff. Oh man, that's too easy. Not that I really equipped him with anything. All right, then let's get out of here. I got to search for Tassa and escape. So, managed to get out of the pr prison cell. So, I got to take care and escape. Yeah, well, it's only natural, but there are other prisoners here too. Maybe they'll have something to say that'll be useful. Speaking with, we can speak with the prisoners by talking to them through their bars of their cell. And maybe we can get some in useful information. Prisoner! Oh! Why are you walking outside of the cell? Escaping from prison. That's quite the feat. Be careful of the automatic dolls. They were supplied by Grand Gold, and they're specially made for guarding prisons. Yeah, great. Oh, look, an automatic doll. Currently on patrol. That's a guard. They have dolls guarding, doing guard work. It's not like I can't defeat just one of them. But, if I cause a commotion, there's going to be reinforcements that have come, and that would be troublesome. So I should look for an opening and slip on through. That should be best. So I need to get on with it without getting noticed. Boy oh boy, I'm looking forward to an opportunity for a stealth game. And the stealth game's over. A prison break is confirmed. Commencing capture. Stop resisting. If you obey, if you don't obey, we will attack. Yeah, there's so many of them. To defeat all of them by myself would be unreasonable to attempt. This could be bad.
mysterious swordsman. Ain't got much to say. The guards reinforcements. No. This old swordsman, no matter how you look at him, he doesn't seem to be one of the guards. Oh yeah, look at how big his hands are. There's no registration for incoming prisoners. We assess it as this isn't. Assessed as an intruder. This man is incest as, assessed as an intruder. An intruder is confirmed in block A12 of the first floor basement. Urgently commencing capture. Ha ha ha. Before the automata girls can move, the swordsman attacks first. He swings a great sword with ease and subdues the guard dolls. And I too go on the attack. Working together with the mysterious swordsman. Swords flashing in tandem. Before you know it, we've subdued the guards. And the mysterious swordsman stands across stands facing me. Just who are And then the man lets loose <clears throat> slips some surprising a uh, surprising question. Do you know a woman named Tasa? Why do you know Tasa? Could you be Nobisa? Tasa spoke about him. He seemed to be his her lover. And also very strong. Probably one of the seven heroes. Nobisa cocks his head as if to ask, Why do you know who I am? And Les explains what he knows. And that's how it happened. Tasa has fallen into enemy hands. I'm very sorry. Even though I was with her. Nobisa collapses his shoulder. Like, don't worry about it. And that's not all. After she turned into a succubus, she and I... Although she's your lover, I'm sorry. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Tasa has raped a great number of men, you say. And you're the one who wants to apologize for her causing trouble for me. Is it really alright for someone's lover to go around doing that? Is something uh, Lest is worried about right now? Anyway. Nobisa is searching for Tasa and came here. To think he would fight his way into a prison, even. He's pretty impressive. Okay. Let's go together from here on out. Working together. Let's escape with Tasa. Nobisa nods. Powerfully. So, even though he's untalkative, he's a reliable companion for this. So then, Nobisa, 
you know where Tasa is right now? A boy swordsman and a dancer girl who claimed to be from another world got an audience with the queen and then disappeared. That's how much Nobisa was able to figure out from his investigation. But he wasn't able to get her actual location. With Tasa's power, they were doing some kind of summoning, they said. Furthermore, they needed to do a ritual for it. That ritual can't exactly be done out in the open. Can't believe they'd try that. So, somewhere they'd be hi hiding themselves away in order to execute it. Although it's dangerous, we're going to need to gather some information here. Prisoners, in any word, in any world, get their hands on a lot of it information, it seems. Anyway, let's go meet the prisoners in the vicinity. There should be- there might be somebody who's heard something. But first things first. Cool guy in front, loser in back. Perfect. I need encounter reduction. First one. Adventurer A says, Oh, it's you. Adventurer B. The guy who was with the succubus from that one time. These two are the ones we met in the cave on the way to Grand Noah. The ones that snuck off in the middle of the night and alerted the authorities so they could send assassins after us. Ha! You got thrown in prison. Serves you right. You two are... The ones who kindly, question mark, took care of us in that cave. They gave us food. And mats to sleep on. And they were obviously suspicious, but... By the next morning, they had disappeared. Just what happened that night? We were, in, we were enticed by your friend. Yeah, you see, she is really stimulating. You know. Of course, we were agreeing to it doing it once or so and you know what happened then right yeah you don't need to tell me I get it so she did us so bad we couldn't walk afterwards so we just laid it in the uh, shadow of a stone where she left us several hours later we could shakily get up and return to town. We reported it to the guards, and they threw us in here. Ah, oh, nuts! My conspiracy theory was wrong. That's terribly unfortunate. I don't know if I should be sympathetic to them, or let them know they got what they deserved. Well, that's a... It was tough to endure, but... It was a taste of heaven, too. Considering the taste compared to the toughness. Yeah, it was so delicious. Definitely worth it. That being the case, we don't hold a grudge against you. Huh. <sighs> I'd like another shot with that, Succubus. Yeah. 
If they're not holding the, a grudge, that's, well, the best outcome we could hope for. Let's leave them. You don't need to go check on those guys, but I thought it was funny. Do I know Atasa? Is she a green-haired green dancer girl? Mmm, yeah, I, if that's the case, yeah, I definitely saw her. Really? Could you tell us everything you know? But for free, now that we're talking, I'm feeling a little hungry, you know? Nobisa hands him a biscuit through the gap in the bars. Even though it's just a little thing. To a prisoner, it's a little... It's a little bit of a luxury. Well, you understand quick, don't you? So, some days ago, that dancer girl along with a good number of guards, passed right in front of this way. So, they must have headed further underground. The second basement floor is where the serious offenders are kept. I wonder what she did. Tassa's been taken further underground. Toss has been conveyed down into the lower strata. A lower stratum, I should say. We should head over there as fast as possible. Well, the stairs down to the next down to the next level are right past this cell. To the west. It's right past the door. So did my information... Is my information useful? Was my information useful to you? Thank you. This information is invaluable. Let's hurry and go down. Yeah, I like that it happened. The door is locked. No good. They've already locked it. We've got to find someone who's got the key. Right, the most prominent guard should have a key. Although it's dangerous, it can't be helped. So the head guard, we need to steal a key from. Don't know where she is, so we've got to search. In the barrel, there are lots of goods and medicines. It restores our HP. But it tells us Nobisa and I don't have any recovery techniques. So we should remember well the locations of these recovery points. And he's got a point there. We're gonna need players because we need encounter reduction. It doesn't work! Oh wait, I haven't gotten the skill yet. Oh that's... look at that, that is enough experience to get to... job level 2, where we get these abilities. That was like, perfect. Alright. Now let's go on to the next one they need to get. Berserker! Because if they're in Berserker, I don't need to input commands to them. Don't mind us, we're just prisoners chilling here next to the head guard and all. You! You're escaped prisoners! To come and greet me from your own initiative. How extravagant. 
No, that's not the right word. How mannerly of you. Sorry, but we need to take the key to downstairs. <laughs> if you want it, then take it by force. Berserk is cool. All right, I give up. Take the key. Eh, just like that? I didn't think you'd simply hand over the key this quickly. Even I understand that the Queen has gotten strange lately. She's delivering people into this prison every day that haven't committed crimes. I'm going to be taking my leave from this job. I have no intention of lending my hand to tyranny. It'd be nice if this country returns to normal. If we can defeat Musette, the Queen's uh, brainwashing should be released. We must not lose, for the sake of this country as well. Anyway, we got the key. We should hurry down to the lower floors where Tasso was taken. Encounter reduction is awesome. Second floor underground where the serious offenders are imprisoned. Tasso definitely isn't a serious offender. Certainly she'll be isolated from the other prisoners here. I wonder if she's on this floor or some floor further down. Yeah. What you say is great. We sh should not forget to gather information from the prisoners. Nope, not that way. They say we need to gather information, but... Aside from this one, which automatically starts a conversation with us, not really much need. A green-haired girl some days back. Yeah, she definitely passed in front of the here. It looks like she was taken down to the third underground floor. Although, that girl didn't look like a political offender to me. A third floor underground. <laughs> so there was something further down. It looks like the third basement floor is where they imprison the political political prisoners. And Tasso was taken down there. So in the deepest undergrounds where people will be unable to see it, secretly running this ritual. Probably that's how they decided to do it. Uh, this way, I think. Bingo. Encounter reduction. Third basement floor. A prison for the political prisoners. So it's certain that Tasso has taken this far. But for what purpose? I thought we already talked about that list. Yeah, I know. Let's work together and save Tasa from here. Mm. A merchant. I supply physical goods and supplies to this place. Is there anything you want to buy? Yeah, if he'll just sell stuff to random 
prison breakers, sure. I just find that hilarious. This is a Minotaur girl. You're joking, calling me a political criminal. Even my brain is made of muscle. Eating and running is the most crime I could possibly manage. Looks like everybody here is innocent. We've got to do something about this as soon as possible. Okay, that doesn't seem important. This is a bard. And he says he was going to, he wrote a song that he wanted to present to the queen and he got arrested. To think this would be called a political crime. It's the apex of foolishness. Hey, Bard! Sing me the feast song! Geez, you really like that, don't you? I said that a bit wrong. Anyway, he starts singing. It's irrelevant to our story, but this Bard and this Minotaur girl get married one year later. Yeah, sing Minotaur's feast songs. That'll get you what you want. Ah, oh, here we go. You guys are... the otherworldly heroes, uh, heroes I've heard about. I won't let you interfere with the ritual. Ritual? You are... could you be one of the Alliance? You might not believe me if I tell you, but... I'm not in that extra... such an extravagant position. I'm not from another world. I'm a monster born and raised in this one. But... the Lord of Dreams has shown me her revelation. For her sake... I've come here to fight. The Lord of Dreams. So she's even gathering underlings who are from this world. Anyway, we're going to have you step aside. If they're performing the ritual, then Tausa must be involved. That's why they captured her to do this demon castle summoning or whatever. I won't you let you go any further. For the advent of the land of the night. That's not a bad announcement for a couple of punks that got beat down that like that. Let's go, Novisa. Tasa should be right ahead. <laughs> Hora. There you get some horrors. They're pretty popular. Anyway. Give me some more, won't you? Yeah. Yeah, we know what's going on here. Come on now. I've gotten hungry. Put out some more for me. Ah, uh, stop it already. She didn't stop it. Tasa, what are you doing? It's all about the vicinity. We've got prisoners laying around. And they're all weakened. <laughs> well, weakened is perhaps an understatement. But it seems like they're all alive. Maybe I should have checked a few of them. Ah! Now, Vivisa and Lest, you came. Tasa, what are you doing? Well, I'm pouring my power into these four pillars to make the gate larger, and it makes me really hungry. 
but when I get hungry, I can suck all I want from the prisoners. <laughs> it's a pretty good reward. Making the gate bigger. Could it be that... Musette was plotting the summon of a demon castle. For that, she needed to make a gate that was really damn big. You got to stop, Tassa. If you do that, then this world will be... Hey, you two. Let's do it. Let's have some fun, huh? Tassa. Yep. Our words aren't just aren't going to get through to her that easily. Thanks to Musette, she's completely lost her senses. Novisa deliberately pulls out his great sword. We need to deliver a shock to her and return her to normal, you say? Nobisa, you don't think that's a little violent. But even as Lest says that, he didn't think of any other operation to any other treatment that would be effective. It may be more or less violent, but gotta do it. So, you want to do it hard, do you? That's all right. Let's have a lot of fun. Let's make it so we don't injure her too badly. Can't be helped. Let's go. Ah, ow, ow, ow. My head. It's reverberating. Oh, sounds like drums. What? Nobisa and Lest? And this place is... Ah, finally she's back to normal. Nobisa explains the situation simply. He's a hell of a talker, ain't he? Oh, I did it again. But lately, I've been able to... I haven't lost my senses that often lately. It's probably the work of Musette. She regularly uses brainwashing and enticement. Anyway, with this we've got her back to her senses. And we've prevented the completion of the Demon Castle Summoning. Since we've saved you two, we don't need to stick around here any longer. Let's hurry and escape. Well, well, I can't let you do that. Musette. The Four Pillars Energy Accumulation stopped at 95%, hasn't it? To have a, someone come and interfere with this little left. I'm already back to my senses. I won't be your... I won't be manipulated by you any longer. It seems simply reapplying brainwashing won't be so easy. Nothing for it. I'll have you obey by force. Ah, the poor prisoner. We won't let you do that. Is it? We're defeating you here. I'll fight too. For as much as I've troubleized cause, I'm going to work to fix it. So she's our ally again. Nobisa gets 
some assist skills that he can use now. Presumably, if I weren't berserked, I could look at them. Omni swordsman and another worldly hero. I'm going to brainwash the two of you and make you into my pawns. Question. Haven't you had Lest in prison for days now? Why didn't you do that before? Fine, don't answer me. See if I care. Uh oh. Tasa was knocked out somewhere in the middle of there, so I had no control and no idea what was going on, but we won, so I guess all's well. <laughs> Such impudent behavior. So, from our attacks, she was forced to recoil. Give up already, Musette. The Four Pillars energy accumulation is... 95%. If I have this much, although incomplete, the Demon Castle summoning can be done. Should be possible. There we go. This is bad. Even when she doesn't have enough power, she plans to force the summoning through. Like we'll let you do that. Oh, silly Lest. You beat her in battle, but this is a cutscene. It's completely different. This Grand Noir castle will be the basis. Demon Castle Tomb Romanza. Show yourself in this world. Show your dream guidance into this world. An earthquake? No. Ho ho ho. Oh, one of the noble women laughs. Watch carefully. Observe carefully. The appearance of the demon castle which will reign over this world. Hey, where'd all the people go? What is this? Our surroundings suddenly changed. Grand Noah, the castle Grand Noah has changed into the demon castle. I told you, didn't I? That castle would be the basis. In that case, where we are now is... That's right. The summoning was successful. This is the M Demon Castle to Romanza. No way. What we feared to happen has come to pass. The Demon Castle to Romanza, or whatever, has been summoned into this world. But, as expected, the summoning is incomplete. The Demon Council should be affiliated with the... connected to the Demon... to the Dream World. But it has... it's being affected by reality. Meaning, I guess, Dream World things shouldn't be affected by reality, but in this case it is. Well, that too will be solved in time. The presence of the Demon Castle will broaden the land of the night in this world. To think this would happen, it's all my fault. No, you're not to blame here, Tasa. Musette, at the least, you're going down here. Les goes to cut down Musette, but the next moment he catches on to the presence of several other things in the vicinity. 
<laughs> ho ho ho. I told you, didn't I? The Demon Castle 2 Romance is affiliated, is connected to the realm of dreams. And of course, there are many inside of the castle. Demon beings that live in dreams. Nightmares. <laughs> Another form of hehehe. <laughs> Come on, let's play. No way, there's so many of them. My work here is done. You guys can frolic with the nightmares. Wait, Musette! Nobisa puts a hand on my shul on Les' shoulder to stop him. It's true, right now, we won't have the ability to chase her. So then, later on, although I don't think we'll be meeting again. This is another world. And there's already a tasty man look. There's already tasty men in front of us. And you, the girl? Are you friends with them? Let's drown them in a dream together. Kew. Les takes a swing, but the but the slash does no damage. It's no good, Les. Against nightmares, only pleasure damage will work. No wait, my sword can't do anything. Hey, <laughs> we reject violence. Swords and axes and spears. None of them will work on us. Give up. Hehehe. <laughs> yeah, this can't be good, can it? So the nightmares start pressing in around us. With this, there's no way to advance or retreat. Spears won't work on you, huh? How about I just give it a try? Ascend! Gungnir! So, Mysterious Girl shows up all of a sudden and produces a spear. That one attack is able to clear away a group of the nightmares. What? Is that sphere? It feels good. I can't. I'm losing my power. Or uh, my power is leaving me. Something like that. This is a spear to force compliance from you nightmares. Come on then. Who's going to be my next prey? Against these numbers, you think one spear, one single spear will be able to handle it? What? What's this? A Rhapsody trap. <laughs> Watch your step there. The spores of a pleasure mushroom will send you into your beloved dreams. Okay. I got nothing to add to that. So, these suddenly appearing three people. At the very least, they don't look like enemies. You guys are... Can't you tell by looking? Friends, we are your friends. 
We heard that the queen had been brainwashed, and we snuck in here, but... Huh, to think that night a group of nightmares would pop out like this. That crest on your hand. Could it be that you are... Excuse me. The three of us, on each of our hands, the crest starts glowing. Three of the chosen heroes have gathered here. Hey, this isn't the time and place to be deepening your friendship. There are still nightmares coming for us. No matter how many you deal with me, there just seems to be no end. Anyway, we need to escape from here. You said it. The red-haired swordsman and Nobisa are... both wordlessly nodding. They both seem pretty untalkative, but... they're also quite accomplished fighters. The Les Droop and the Rawls group have joined up. Yumin, take care of the non-nightmare threats. There are a lot of guards and soldiers that are still coming too. I'll take care of the nightmares. I do like the pleasurable side of life. It's nice to... This fighting together mood is kind of nice. I'm normally the one who gets... Who's on the receiving end of a mob beating. This girl is hilarious. After a fashion. Well, no matter how you consider it, the situation is the worst. We're in this demon castle. In the underground. Even, even further, we're in the underground of it. We have no idea what its structure is, and we're surrounded by enemies. But we haven't lost yet. Each of us is a not inferior fighter, and there are six of us together. We've all got to get out of here, escaping from the demon castle safely. Let's go. In order to ride out this crisis, we've got to all work together. And our... And the battle to escape from the Demon Castle to Romanza has started. Yeah, that sounded like a fade-out statement. At the same time, in the village of Finoa. <laughs> We're too late again. Already the situation has been handled. With the incident this time, events are transpiring so fast. We're always one step behind in trying to catch. We're always one step behind chasing them around. So in Finoa, there were three succubi that appeared and sealed the town off. But by the time we arrived, the incident had already been resolved. The three succubi were fought off by a mysterious group. Although, at the same time, there are many people who were lost their lives. I've investigated the cause of death on several people. The total death count is over a hundred. How horrible! Over a hundred precious souls lost
the group that chased off these dangerous succubi. Could it be that they are the seven heroes? According to the eyewitnesses, putting together their stories, there was a young man who carried a gun. Oh, I need to remember to equip that gun on him. And a boy wearing the outfit of a Yamatai priest. Further, a flower and a fox. The first fight was just those four. A flower and fox. Just like us, it seems that they're making friends amongst the monsters. Hey, they're saying four, but there was also Mukuro. Would this dialogue change if I reorganized my party so she was actually in the fighting in her lineup? Well, I don't have any way of checking that now, do I? So, the four of them could be just nameless people who accidentally were here and happened to be strong enough. But, just perhaps. After that, another three appeared to reinforce the first. A voluptuous Oni woman, a magician-looking boy, and a cute girl. A group with a lot of variety to it, isn't it? Whether amongst them there were heroes from another world or not. Hmm. I'm getting a transmission from the number seven office of Grand Noah. Why didn't they pass the trans? Why did they do a direct transmission instead of passing it through the head office? Well, ask and ye shall receive. Everybody, there has been a disaster in Grand Noah. The Castle Granor has disappeared. Disappeared? What do you mean, disappeared? And in its place, a castle that never, that nobody's seen before is standing. It's black and ominous. A strangely built great fortress. So, What's going on over there? Where did Grand Noah Castle go? Really can't imagine what's going on. We've got to go and see. Let's head out immediately, Luca. Right. Let's go now. The situation's accelerating so fast it makes your head spin. And our world is just going bonkers. Grand Noah Castle has been replaced with some mysterious other castle. Without a doubt, this is connected to the Lord of Dreams somehow. And with this, we're getting one step closer to the crux of the situation. So that's chapter 7. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time in chapter 8. Bye now.